What is up everyone, it's Rishi Hewitt here. Now today I've got a short little tutorial for you and we're going to be talking about Open Broadcaster software. Now, for many of you this may be like a little old tutorial but some videos don't explain it correctly and I've been through loads of those videos and honestly, I'm not going to scam you anything, I'm just going to show you a plain short tutorial here, you know, how, how to stream on Open Broadcaster Classic, not the studio version, however if you do want the studio version then please tell me down in the comments below and I'll get one of those done right away for you. But we're going to get straight into the tutorial now and I'm going to show you how to stream directly to Twitch at 60 frames per second with no lag and boom, let's get away with it. So first of all, obviously you want to open your Open Broadcaster software like I have here. Now. When you're in the software itself, obviously you're going to want to set up a scene, and I've got a scene here, which is that. I've got that set up, you can see at the bottom, my frames per second are 60 frames, and I'm streaming about 3000 kilobytes a second, which is more or less about 3 megabytes, and my upload speed is 10 megabytes, so it's definitely leaving a lot of overhead room. Remember, you have to leave a lot of overhead room so that your internet can still do stuff and you can play online without lagging all that. So yeah, don't forget to leave some over room. But I would talk about that in a different tutorial. Like, I wouldn't mention it yet. If you did want an in-depth tutorial about how networks work with all this and upload and download speeds, then please, you know, do tell me and I'll make one. But what you're going to want to do is head to the top left of your screen where it says settings. You want to click on settings. Now you get this screen here where it says general encoding, broadcast settings, video, audio, hotkeys, advanced, quick sync, encoder, browser, microphone, noise gate and scene switcher. So really what we're going to be looking at first is the encoding tab. So you switch over to here. Now basically just copy all of these settings like I have copied, like I have set up now, right? So you want your encoder at x264 none of these now i can do nvidia because i have an nvidia graphics card but do not it is the worst i've ever used i have tried it but it is the worst i've ever ever used just stick with x264 which is a h264 format encoder i believe it is that try not to go too into depth for people that don't understand obviously technical language but uh just going over it briefly so you want to make sure that ucbr is checked which is basically a constant bit rate it'll always run at this it'll not differ below it'll not go above which is great for whatever if you know if you have unstable internet then you want to make sure that enable cbr padding is enabled you want to set your maximum bitrate at 2500 which equals to about 2.5 megabytes in total and make sure that your bitrate for your audio is always set to 128 no matter what and that your codec settings are not mp3 they're on aac right then you can click apply down here. So next what you want to move on to is obviously your broadcast settings. Now you're going to be wanting to live stream so you select the live stream obviously not the file output. Then you've got your streaming service. Now obviously I'm showing you how to stream to Twitch so you're going to be selecting Twitch in this option. There is all different ones such as YouTube gaming, Hitbox, you know some of the obvious ones like Daily Motion as well but you want to set it straight to Twitch. And then you're going to want your you know your server like the closest server to you so obviously because I'm in the UK you'll be selecting the UK server okay so it should be located here which is in the EU London so you click that closest to me now you're gonna want your stream key now you can find this on your twitch dashboard if you do need any help and you cannot find this I will help you down in the comment section or I'll make a short little video explaining how to get your stream key from Twitch itself. It's pretty easy. Just go to your Twitch dashboard, stream key tab, boom, copy it, paste it in here, and you're done. Now, make sure you've got auto reconnect, uh, connect, obviously ticked as well, and that your timeout seconds is 10 seconds. So if it does drop the stream or disconnect, it will automatically try to reconnect after 10 seconds straight back to the stream. Now, you can. I used to have this set it down 2 seconds so that it doesn't drop the stream and it'll just replay straight away. But it depends because it can affect your ping and in in other terms don't just don't use it just don't apart from that i think that's all you need setting up and then you want to click apply then you want to go to the video tab now make sure that you have a base resolution i mean if you have monitors at 1080p obviously you can set these to 1920 by 1080 like that 
But because I've got less than 10 HP monitors, I'm having mine set at 720, which is 1280 by 720 like that. Then you want your resolution downscale. You can downscale to 480 or 360 if you wanted to. But I keep it set at just 720 because it's fine for me. And then your FPS, 60 FPS as normal. You can have it down at 30 if you wanted to. But I prefer to have it at 60 like that because crystal clear quality. And many people are into 60 frames per second gaming these days rather than 30 FPS. So next, you want to go to advanced. You're going to want your process priority class set to high. Now this is how your CPU handles which test it does first. Now, if you have it set to high, this is always on high, so it'll obviously process this first. So it'll be, your encoder, which is OBS, will be it'll be going to do the, all the work there first, rather than anywhere else. Not so good if you are doing games on the PC. However, if you are gaming from a console and you got a capture card, best setting to use, which I normally use, so I'm going to keep it set on high. And then you want to go to your CPU preset. This really depends on what CPU you have. Like, I don't have the greatest CPU. I have an 8-core AMD. Uh, I think it runs at about 4, 4 gigahertz, 3.5. I think mine's 3.5 gigahertz. Uh, it's obviously not the best. It's a first-generation CPU, so I have mine set it faster because it doesn't lag. Like, for mega, mega good CPUs, like top-range CPUs, set yours to lower. Slower. Or slow or medium whatever but first generation PCs keep it set faster alright then your encoding profile hit at main keep your keyframe interval at 2 we recommended by twitch UCFR and you are done now click that apply button ok and you're all set up for streaming straight to twitch if you have any questions please leave them down in the comment section below and i'll answer them as soon as possible but if you did enjoy this tutorial don't forget to drop a like on this video please subscribe and i'll catch you all with another video